Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over satellites and projectile motion. So let's get started. So how are satellites linked to projectile motion? Well, it says here that a satellite is a special type of projectile that follows a circular orbit due to its constant horizontal velocity and constant vertical acceleration. Now remember these two key things, constant horizontal velocity and constant vertical acceleration are what makes a projectile follow that curved trajectory. And the circular orbit traced out by a satellite is in fact projectile motion because it has these two things. It then says the path followed by a satellite is called its orbit. Orbit. And we're now going to explore the question here, why does a satellite follow a circular path in the first place? Well, it says that Sir Isaac Newton proposed a thought experiment to work this out. Now, a thought experiment is one that can only really be thought about and not carried out in real life. So Newton's thought experiment went something like this. He said, consider a large cannon on the Earth's surface. So there's our large cannon and there's the Earth's surface. He said that if a projectile is launched with sufficient horizontal velocity, i.e. a horizontal velocity big enough, then it will travel far enough before hitting the ground that the curvature of the Earth must be taken into account. So here you can see the surface is not a straight line. We have the horizon dipping over here. So that means the curvature of the Earth is taken into account here. It then says, now imagine a projectile launched with such a great horizontal velocity that it never reaches the ground. This occurs when the trajectory of the projectile matches the curvature of the Earth. So there's the curvature of the Earth and there's the trajectory and you'll see the curvature of the trajectory matches the curvature of the Earth. So if this happens, then the object is going to continue moving in a circular motion. Now we say that the satellite remains in orbit around the Earth because it is in a constant state of freefall. This means it is accelerating towards the surface of the Earth due to its weight. Now I would say that the most important part of the explanation is this bit here because it tells us why the object is going to stay in a circular orbit. So it says the satellite falls towards the Earth at the same rate as the surface of the Earth curves away from it. It therefore stays at the same height above the Earth in a circular orbit. So if we look back at the picture here, we're seeing that the object is falling towards the Earth at the same rate as the Earth is curving away from it. And that will only happen when the horizontal velocity of the projectile is large enough. Now we're just going to recap Newton's thought experiment here using the simulations. So it says, imagine a large cannon which could fire an object horizontally many miles. The projectile would have a constant horizontal velocity and a uniform vertical acceleration. Fire the cannon to observe the projectile. So if I fire the cannon, you'll see the cannonball moves some short distance over here on the surface of the Earth. However, we can now imagine a larger cannon capable of firing the object beyond the horizon. Now if I fire the cannon this time, you'll see the cannonball travels so far that we need to take into account the curvature of the Earth. And lastly, it says, now imagine a cannon so huge that it fires an object with such a large horizontal velocity that it falls at the same rate that the curvature of the Earth falls away. So if I click fire now, you see we get that circular orbit traveled by the projectile. And we explained why that is. So it says the projectile never hits the ground, the object circles the Earth in orbit. The object remains in orbit because it is being pulled to the Earth by gravity, not because it has escaped gravity. This is how satellites remain in orbit. And going back to the notes, this brings us on to the last part of projectile motion to look at apparent weightlessness. Now it says that astronauts in orbit around the Earth are in a constant state of freefall. The spaceship, the astronauts and everything inside are all accelerating towards the Earth due to gravity. This is known as apparent weightlessness. Now astronauts such as the famous Chris Hadfield here are going to experience this feeling of being weightless and it tells you here why. So it says the sensation of feeling weightless is because of gravity, not because the astronauts have escaped from the gravitational field of the Earth. So a common misconception would be that there's no gravity in space and therefore you're going to float about. But that is definitely not the case. There is just a weaker gravitational field in space than there is on Earth and therefore you experience this feeling of weightlessness. So it's because of gravity, not due to the lack of gravity. That's all for this video folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.